Okay, here we're going to look at this following differential equation. So there's a number of ways to solve this differential equation, but we're going to do, do it using exact differential equations and integrating factors. So the first thing that we notice is that if you take the derivative with respect to y of 3, that's equal to 0. But if you take the derivative with respect to x of x times y, that's equal to y, and these are not equal. So that means this is not an exact differential equation. Good. Now the next thing that we notice, well, let's go ahead and set a equal to 3 and b equal to x times y. And recall that there's a test for the existence of an integrating factor, and that is um, an integrating factor mu of x exists if a sub y minus b sub x over b is a function of x alone. So let's check that. So if we do a sub y, so that will be 0, minus uh, b sub x, so that will be y, over b, so that's xy, so this equals negative 1 over x, so that is a function only of x. Good. And furthermore, we know that the integrating factor, mu of x, will be the exponential of the antiderivative of this. So I have another video where we derive this fact, but we'll just use it here. So here we have this is the exponential of the antiderivative of negative 1 over x dx. Okay, good. So let's look at what that is. So this is the exponential of negative natural log of x. So the next thing we want to do is this is the exponential of the natural log of x to the negative 1. And finally, this is 1 over x. Good. So an integrating factor of 1 over x exists. So I'll clean up this board and then we'll solve this differential equation using this integrating factor. Previously, we saw that this differential equation was not exact, but by something we derived in a previous video, we saw that this differential equation times negative, sorry, times 1 over x was guaranteed to be an exact differential equation. So let's see what we get when we do that, and let's check that it is, in fact, exact. So this gives us... 3 over x plus y times y prime equals 0. And now we can check the derivative with respect to y of 3 by x is equal to 0. And the derivative with respect to x of y is also 0. So that means this is an exact differential equation. So also, we know that the solutions to exact differential equations are given implicitly by some function psi, where the partial with respect to x is 3 over x in this case. So 3 over x and the partial with respect to y is y. Great, so let's see what we get from there. So if we know the partial with respect to x is 3 over x, we can take the antiderivative of this with respect to x, and that's going to give us mu, sorry, psi equals 3 times the natural log of x. Good, and now we can take the derivative of this with respect, uh, sorry, plus some function g of y, so we know we need a function g of y because if we take the derivative of that with respect to x, we'll get 0. So now take the derivative of this with respect to y. So psi sub y is equal to g prime of y. Good. So that gives us a differential equation. g prime of y equals y. So that tells us that 
g of y equals one half y squared plus some constant, which tells us that psi equals the natural log of x times three plus one half y squared plus some constant, which means our solution is given by three natural log of x plus one half y squared equals, and I'll put a capital C for another constant there, and I've um, absorbed my constant of integration um, into this second constant. So we have this implicit equation that, de that defines our solution. Okay, good, that's the final answer.